everyone talking about Foxcroft Fairgrounds by Solstice Scents. The notes in this are cotton candy, cream soda, vanilla, taffy, funnel cakes, powdered sugar, crisp fall air, wood smoke, and incense. And I like this so much more than Fun Fair Evening by Margiela, which was kind of going for the same concept, but to me that just smelled way too indolic with the two rows. The anise made it too licorice-y and just all around mm -mm, for me on that one. Um, that's actually pretty low on my list of ranking of the Margiela replica scents, but this is really, really good and I think it totally fits the concept. It really fits like that kind of lighthearted brief, but with the excitement of like a county fair and a night there, I guess, with lots of good food and fun. But uh, I think it's also totally wearable. Like, it's not so kitschy or something that it's just like, oh, fun, but who would ever wear that or something? Like, if you're a gourmand fan, that is, then I think that this is really wearable. The cotton candy is very present in the opening, almost with like a bubblegum type of vibe. And I don't mean that the way that some people use the phrase bubblegum to just mean anything sweet in fragrance, like literally kind of bubblegum-ish here. But the other notes are all very present pretty soon after and even at the same time as the cotton candy, and you can really kind of get all of them distinctly. Somehow even like the crisp fall air accord really comes through. Uh, this just makes me feel like, yeah, the excitement of like going to a county fair as a kid and stuff like that. And I think Solstice Sense did a good job as usual of bottling just kind of the feeling of the excitement of the scene that it's supposed to evoke. Longevity and projection aren't great, but I think that's fine because I something this sweet and whatever, I would not want to smell for hours and hours and hours at a time. And I don't think anyone around you would as well. It's the kind of thing that's just like really fun and nice in passing, but it's not something that anybody would want to have blasted in their face for 12 hours in a row, I don't think. You can get a five mil for $19. I'll put links in the description where you can get a bottle or sample. And yeah, just I, I recommend sampling it either just for the fun of like, oh, that's cool. Like it's fun, it fits the concept. And also if you do like gourmands, this is a well done uh, version of that.